In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make these really cute little strappy platform sandals. A couple of things to note in this video, we're doing an inset platform, which means that the insole is sort of sunken down into the platform, which looks so good. I've also done an inset strap pattern for the insole board, which is a great way to reduce bulk. And I am so happy with how they turned out and cannot wait to wear them. So let's dive straight in and get started with the lessons. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my heels and my platforms and getting them covered in this nice orange leather that I've got. Um, the reason I like to start here is because it's kind of the most fun part, it's pretty easy, and it helps you get an idea of how the overall shoe is gonna look pretty quickly. Now, the one thing I do wanna mention about the platforms before we get started covering them is that this is actually an inset platform, which means our insole board is gonna sort of sink down into it a little bit. So with that in mind, we need to make sure when we're covering it that we've definitely got quite enough on the inside um, so that our insole will of course cover it. Underneath you can actually see it's got like a little bit of a groove and that gives us a good idea of where the leather will want to go to on the other side. And one final thing to consider with this particular platform, but all platforms are a little bit different. This has sort of this slant to it at the front. So we really need to make sure that when we are tracing this out, we're sort of laying it flat at the angle of the slant. So. Enough explaining, let's just jump straight in and do it so that I can show you what I'm talking about. All right, so platforms are reasonably easy to do. I kind of wanna lay it flat and lay it so that the slant is flat and then roll it like this. And we can see that's coming off the leather there, so that's not really the best place for me to do it. Might be a good idea to do it somewhere like this. So here's how we do it. I'm gonna take my silver pen and I'm gonna place the platform down and I'm gonna trace about, I don't know, maybe like a centimeter, something like that underneath. And that's to wrap up into that little groove that I showed you earlier. So I'll follow that all the way around, rolling the platform as I go. And when we get around these corners, we kind of wanna make sure it's going where it naturally wants to go and then carry on around the whole thing. Okay, and then once we've done that, we wanna do the same thing on the inside. All right, so once we've done that, we can go ahead and cut it out and see how it fits. Okay, so I've got some water-based um, glue here and some scrap paper. I always like to glue the platform first because I find that that can take a little bit longer to dry because it doesn't really have anything to soak into. So this can be drying while I'm gluing the leather. So I'm gonna start by coating the outside edge in a thin layer of the water-based glue. And then under here, I'm just gonna put the glue into that little groove. And to be honest, if you overlap a little bit here, it doesn't make a difference at all. So don't overthink it. And last but not least, we're gonna to wanna to go on the inside of the platform as well because we are gonna wrap it up over that edge. So. I'm sort of doing the inside and I'm not being particularly careful here, but it's really important that we sort of go up the wall or the edge there as well, because remember everything's gonna be inset. So it does really need to stick all the way around. All right, so once that is all glued up, we can just leave it to the side and we can glue up our leather. Really make sure you get the glue right up to the edge and don't leave any bits without glue. Okay, so while I was waiting for those to dry, I went ahead and covered the other platform. So this is roughly how it should be looking at this stage. Most importantly, that we've really pushed it down into the curve on the inside there. All right, so back to this one. This has had a decent dry time now. Of course, as usual, if you don't wanna wait for it to dry, you can get your heat gun out, which certainly speeds things up. And then we're just gonna stick it down and sort of wrap it around. So I usually like to stick the underneath as I go, give it a little pinch at the top. All right, so that's looking really, really good now. I will just show you this area up close where the leather's kind of pulling. I just wanna maybe try and smooth it out a little bit just by stretching the leather in the opposite directions. Okay, that is looking awesome. I will just grab my safety beveler and just take a couple of these little pleats away from underneath just so that we're having a nice flat surface. 
And then on the inside here, I just have this little pleat, which I'm gonna just kind of cut out with a craft knife. And like, again, I could totally just leave it, but I just wanna really make sure everything is nice and flat on the inside so that my insole board will sit really nicely in there. 